Hi everyone, it is Mike from Gomandu. Last year I took a trip to Singapore and it was a fast trip. I was only there like three nights. And it was like a long weekend and I had to fly from here to there on the longest nonstop flight in the world from Newark Airport. So I flew from Detroit to Newark and then from Newark to Singapore. Then I was there three, four days and then I flew back to Newark and then from there back to Detroit. So it's a 12 hour time difference from here to there. Noon is midnight and midnight is noon. So when I got there, I was completely whacked out from the time change. And then I was there, my body was trying to adjust and I flew back home um, and I made a mistake when I got back. I thought that I was getting back at 6.30 at night, but it was actually 6.30 in the morning. So when I got back, I was completely whacked out. Um, I took this little shuttle thing from the airport over to the hotel the Hilton at uh, Liberty in Newark, at Liberty Airport, and there's a Hilton hotel right there. I walked up, they gave me my room, let me go go to my room at 6.30 in the morning. I went downstairs, they gave me break, free breakfast at the buffet, I went back to my room, I took a five hour nap. And then when I woke up, I ordered, I was still completely whacked out, I was starting to come around. I ordered room service, and I ordered French onion soup. And this French onion soup that I got from the Hilton at Liberty Newark was the best French onion soup I've ever had. That French onion soup saved my life. So uh, I've been thinking about that French onion soup ever since then. It was it's like four months ago. And so tonight, ha, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some French onion soup. So here's what we got. We got onions. I got three sweet onions. I got two red onions. I got... Some dill. That's real deal Swiss Gruyere cheese from the old country. I got it at uh, Kroger from the fancy cheese section. That's some Pinot Grigio, which is a dry white wine. So I'm going to use that. That's what the recipe called for. Then I've got a little stock, a little bouillon, liquid bouillon. And it said to use a combination of chicken and beef stock, which is so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm getting ready to slice this stuff up. And uh, we're going to take a look at uh, it cooking and then the final product. And uh, I can't wait to do my own version of French onion soup. I, that soup saved my life when I got back from my whacked out trip where I didn't get any sleep and I was completely zoned out. So I'll be back with you and we'll show you how it goes. Cool. All right. Onions are in the pot. Look at these guys. I'm just going to cook them down with some olive oil. And then I'm going to throw garlic in in a little bit. <laughs> Loving it. All right, they're getting there. Nice and caramelized looking. I got the garlic in there. I'm going to put in some liquid right now. The wine goes in first so we can deglaze the pan. And then the stock goes in. So this is going to be looking like a soup here pretty darn quick. All right, here's the finished product right here. Here's my... Here's my soup that simmered for quite a long time. Took a couple hours to caramelize, a couple hours to simmer. Then I made some toasted bread. Then I put it on top with a bunch of cheese, melted it or, you know, put it under the broiler, cranked it all down. Looks wonderful, smells wonderful. Can't wait to eat it. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.